rights icon Dr. Benjamin E. Mays influenced many minds of the movement, including Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. He was born in 1894 in the Epworth community by 96 in Greenwood County. Our Aaron Rodgers takes a deeper look at the legacy he left behind in our nation's hidden history. Dr. Benjamin E. May's parents were slaves on this land before they were able to live in a home where this marker now stands, which was the birthplace of one of the greatest minds of the civil rights movement. He was born at a time where whites were going about the business of reestablishing white rule in the South. Some of the earliest memories of Dr. Benjamin E. Mays weren't pleasant. Dr. Mays on the porch of this home that we have here on our site was terrorized as a four-year-old by men who rode up on horseback. Threatening his family at gunpoint during the Phoenix riots in Greenwood County. And over that week, nine African Americans in that community were, were lynched and killed. Uh, and so these were Dr. Mays, this was the world that he was formed into. But it was a world that formed who he became. He didn't believe God in made him inferior. And so Dr. Mays was driven by this desire to go and prove his worth. Dr. Mays, who came from these humble beginnings, picking cotton in this field, went on to get his master's and PhD from the University of Chicago. It's just a tremendous story of someone that had a tremendous amount of tenacity about this desire to get an education and to be someone in life. He became the president of Morehouse College in Atlanta, a title he held for nearly 30 years, and where he became the mentor to Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Him seeing Dr. Dr. Mays and finding sort of this intellectual, uh, spiritual leader that made uh, King think that he could do the things that he wanted to do in the ministry. An impact he had on many young people throughout the civil rights movement. And they just went on to make a lasting legacy and really changed the course of American history. People who worked with him say they were drawn to him. He was always very stately, relaxed, and wise. He was from a different era. But he never forgot where he came from. And he felt like in some way that he represented the aspirations of the people of the uh, Phoenix community in the Epworth area. And it's why he now commands the only life-size statue of a historical figure in Greenwood County. He represents the, the, the best in us and the best that we can strive to be. In Greenwood County, Aaron Rodgers, 7 News.